still trying to gather our stuff to get our ramble drops. Gather our armor and our sword. Go be the dragon lord. But uh, this is a good chance, I think, for Cyberdark to get back some points, because like anybody can uh, can be ahead in this, from what I understand. There is no knowledge helps you here. Alright, get an herb, got some gold, and top chest, more gold. Alright, so race is hoping for a uh, nearby town. But also important details, three keys, so doors open by themselves. And you go to the treasury, if you go back down and up again, you can immediately do a gold glitch, or a chest glitch. If you're lucky, you find some gold or find some herbs. Good stuff at the beginning of the game. Ooh, the first chest was more gold. Oh, second chest was gold, so that means, uh, probably not getting gold out of the other two. Fairy awesome. water, though. Fairy water's nice to you. If you fill the fairy water, yeah, that's all the game just throwing fireballs out with fairy water. Uh, you use fairy water and torches in combat, and uh, fairy water hits very hard. So missed both gold chests for the grind, but got herbs and fairy waters. Alright, so you got plenty of money there. If there's anything to buy, <laughs> it could be a town right next door. It could be half across the world. We'll find out. Ooh, Gelf's already going to go check out the cave. And it looks like I think uh, Faron did too. And we have the grave. It's grave? No, this is a, I think it's a mountain cave. No, it's mountain cave. Mountain yeah. cave. I'm still getting used to the little non-batile entrance. I don't know that. I'm terrible with that. I have some maps. <laughs> I, don't, I don't tend to memorize things. All right, so Faron runs with a scorpion. The scorpion's hitting pretty hard. We got kill. Welf runs into a metal scorpion, hitting actually softer. Huh. They give just south, but they give a uh, pretty good gold. But they give just south of their normal experience at twenty instead of uh, thirty-one. They're not bad level. Ooh, oh, oh, those stats! Holy cow, those hit points! Okay, that was a good stat gain. Plus this, we got some. Oh, we got heal, hurt, sleep, and return. That's because he got to level seven already. With oh, twenty experience. Okay then. Oh, uh, so well, at uh, twenty experience points, you get to level seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, Big Slamu also finding the good news. Ferran finding the good news. Uh, only uh, Cyberdark has uh, no kills under his, his name. And uh, Ferran is at level like nine or ten already at like fifty experience. Ferran's at eleven. <laughs> we at eleven. There's a town right there. Okay, so it's about the fastest you ever made. Thanks, We're gonna find out. All right, Breconary. Normally, I'm not excited about Breconary. This is a chaos team, so all bets are off. What do we got here? Yeah. Cheap full plate. Cheap hand axe too. Yeah, five gold for a hand axe, might as well. Yep, yeah, all good. Alright, find the golem on uh, Guelph's side. Golem has sleep and hurt more, so golem's uh, not messing around. Does anybody uh, does anybody have quite a bit of gold? Because they had magic armor there, but it was like 4k. It's 4k, yeah. Fron had the gold, but died in the cave, so lost it. And uh, yeah, the strength, at level 11, Fron's strength still being 44. Uh, Z Man puts it in chat, abysmal. Yeah, I mean, the way the levels are going, though, we might, we might be able to grind up pretty fast here. Uh, Big Slam Moon gains more levels. We're going to find out how many. Uh, he's at 13, and the strength has went up to 57. Yeah, reasonable. And hurt more level 13, so now big explosions. Bam. We got uh, Cyber Dark's just uh, getting eaten alive over there. He's got ate by a wizard after getting eaten by a scorpion. Yeah, there's a warlock there hitting for 29, so... Uh, Cyberdark's not hitting these stuff. The Metal Scorpion seems pretty soft. Um, I didn't see what uh, Ferran got in the overworld. Uh, what, whatever Gelf's fighting up there, he's got Baby Breath. Yeah, so that, uh, poultry Guys. Guys. Yep. I'm still learning the different variations, and everything's got three. Most of Ooh, uh, Big Slam who finds Cantlin, which means we're going shopping. Silver Shield, dirt cheap. And a broadsword. This poltergeist has a lot of health, it looks like. Yeah, again, it's very soft. Um, but again, enemies have just tons and tons of health. Front engaging battle with this dodging Maggie Drake. Big slam Ooh, Does that mean uh, Maggie Drake needs to have hyper agility? No, it means they have a higher dodge chance. In this game, oddly enough, agility is only attached to defense power and running away. Um, dodging is his own stat. Cool. I didn't even know that one. He's playing uh, vanilla mode or with uh, vanilla stats. You have the Demon Knight, which dodges, was it 6 out of, uh, 6 out of, it's, 
I need a number because it's basically more than that. <laughs> That's the dodge in the game. But um, most dragons have a small dodge chance. Uh, the wolves and werewolves, skeletons have a dodge chance. The MP at level 13, though, is really, really nice. He's just gonna power that hurt more spell. Yeah, he's already at like 90, maybe even north of 90. I know I saw when he was starting healing in here, he was at like 89. Alright, old man was locked in this room here with barriers and doom tiles for no reason. Perhaps he's a public menace. Perhaps he, you know, something silly. But uh, he has no information for you. There is no overworld item. We are going out and fighting the hard way. Ooh, we got, we got uh, AK-47 up on Cyberdark. Yep, now it's interesting in the Chaos games, you have to, uh, you have to shake the old habit. If you see a red dragon, you can't just, like, freak out and try to run. You can't just flinch and see an AK-47. It can literally be anything. <laughs> so they're, have... they're doing good damage. Like, he's... The ak is not hitting as hard as it normally does. It's still doing 15 to 20. Yep, let's go through, though. Let's Did see. beat him, and only 38 experience and 21 gold is your reward. Cyberdark, again, Cyberdark had nothing before, and in a two minute span has caught back up, basically, to the same levels as everybody else. Uh, Green Dragon died to one hurt more and gives you five experience. Nice. Fair trade. Five MP for five experience points. Oh, level 16 over on Faron, and we've got 155 HP. Yeah, Faron wants to find that death necklace. Uh, put it on there, sacrifice some of those hit points, 25% of your hit points for plus 10 attack power. Uh, for endgame, because the Dragonlord 2 has a uh, random abilities and such, but uh, does not have random hit points. There's still a range set for hit points. Okay, we got a Star Wyvern went down and gives 27. Well, all the enemies that usually give big experience are not. All right, Big Slambu does the, uh, the solitary walk in Erdrick's cave, and there's no tablet. But he finds the armor instead. Ooh, the armor's in Tablet Cave, huh? So, uh, Slammy has a nice gear advantage here. Silver shield and Urgis armor. So tough as you get with that stuff. Oh, we do have red dragon sighting. We fry them before, too. They're very soft. <laughs> but they have high defense. And not a lot of experience. So where's our experience, uh, junkie here? Um, honestly, has not been much experience points. Um, they just gain levels like crazy. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever, uh, Big Slammy just fought gave over 100. I think it was a Magic Drake he gave, like, 130. There you go. But, uh, you know, the races don't have much experience points, really. Uh, they just gained levels, like, 16 by 560. So they've just gained all these levels for nothing. <laughs> so... What are we short on? Just attack power at this point? Basically attack power and, uh, important items. <laughs> we have this interesting situation where you're basically set to go, and, um, you try repelling and walk around the, the world faster. Uh, big Slammy finding the Jerk. Yeah, at five minutes, you're already in, uh, opposite of grind and go mode. <laughs> yeah, we're just go. Like, no grind, like. Nothing new in here. So, the Dirt Cave, as, uh, Slammy was found, once you find yourself the token of Redrick, the, uh, Staff of, Staff of, uh, Rain, and the, uh, Stone Sunlight, you bring it all there, and you cast it into a rainbow drop for Trollock, which is just south of him. I'm interested to see the uh, battle between the Pac-Man sprites on the left. Using the uh, randomizer has a few new sprites involved. I was playing the old Darkman Cecil last time around. That's what uh, I think I played this last week too. But uh, we see Pac-Man, we see uh, the red ghost from Pac-Man, we see Bomberman, and one of the Dragon Warrior heroes. I don't know which one. I don't know if it's vanilla or like two or three. Just plain old. Let me find out. That's down on uh, Slamu's side. Yep. I think Slamu's busy getting yet more levels, so I'll find that in a minute. Yep, Vanilla Warrior. So, it looks like, what's our highest level right now? 17? I think 17 on Ferran. Levels are kind of not really important now. <laughs> They're all going to oh, get there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to see what the attack power is looking like at this point. You don't want to get there. Let's see. We'll get that. We'll cycle through eventually. We'll find out. Uh, Cole's empty as well. So we have uh, Rimble Dog. We're not Rimble We have uh, we have the Garenham chests. We have Mountain Cave. We have the Grave. We have Freebie Cave, the uh, Sons of Stone, uh, Stones of Sunlight Cave. And we also have uh, Hawk's Nest somewhere.
We have people saying 40 minute winner. Uh, it might not even be 40 minutes and if they start finding stuff. It can be faster. But the problem is that I don't know what's in Charlock. It's a short Charlock. Thankfully, it's only one level. But I don't know what the boss is. I don't know what the Dragon Lord has. I don't know what the, the uh, Spike Monster is. So we've got uh, 78 strength and 17. That's without the sword. So we got 98 attack power without the sword. I think they got what? The hand axe? Uh, let's see. So if that's true, what, how much attack power does the hand axe give? 10? At least plus 10. Let me find my stats here. Right in somewhere. On file. chat to figure out how to get faster than seed. Again, with a repel spell, you can dodge a lot of enemies and encounters. Um, if you're beefy enough, then yes, just repel and run, because you can save yourself a whole lot of trouble. They've got broadsword, so broadsword's more than that. Broadsword's... Was what? 15 or 16? I think 16. Might be 16, which means we're getting an additional 24 attack power from Urgic Sword when we find it. Which is just short uh, with the deck ne death necklace that might put them in the 130, mi mid 130, early 130s. Yep. And again, this is the Dragon Lord 2's defense remains the same, mercifully. Um, the math goes you have your attack power, take a hunch off that, divide by 2 to get your maximum, and divide by 2 to get your minimum. Oh, apparently Dragon Lord 2 King have up to 230 HP, though. Yes, yes, the HP is, can be changed. Um, but these stats remain the same. Otherwise, you could have some really bad stuff. And DL1 is also fully randomized. So DL1, I've had DL1 you know, dunk me for like 90 damage and a punch. <laughs> so be very careful. I've, I've heard stories about this. I would like to see this happen. We're, we're getting there. Well, four opportunities. This is why we're here. We have a whole week at this madness. So you think this is crazy. You think this is strange. Don't worry. We'll just do this all week. <laughs> we got like 12 more of these matches. 11 groups doing this. Oh, Metal Slime. What, what do they get? What They're squish. Oh, 29 damage. But more health. The Metal Slime just hit him for 73. Yeah. 88. Yeah, no, no. Don't, uh... Assume nothing. All the rules are out. Red Dragon, don't be afraid. Metal Slime, be very careful. Uh, I think Metal Slimes are auto-runs at this point. <laughs> So they actually don't have agility. They might have a, if they have a higher agility. It might not be a... Okay, Axe Knights are really nice, though. Axe Knights are... If they do need any kind of grind, which we don't think they will, but that's 180 experience from an Axe Knight. Not bad, not bad. All right, Golem's a scare, because Golem has Seek and Hurt more, so that's still a problem to deal with. Yeah, nasty combo until he finds armor. I think still we've got... Oh, we got two people with armor. Well, finds the token in Hawk's Nest. The Hawk's Nest monster died so fast I didn't see it, <laughs> so I'm not sure. Hawk's Nest is sitting in the middle of a swamp. Oh, Garen right beside it. Hey, Garen hands. Lots of shields. So it's a chance that Guelph can just walk to this little cave here and find whatever he needs. <laughs> yeah, because this is... Well, I mean, this could be a lot of things, but if it's grave, it could be really good. Between the three chests and the five and grave. Yep, or with any luck, you find, a, you find the uh, Silver Harper here, and then the cave down behind is the uh, Staff of Rain trading. It's always the dream, right? You, you, you definitely want to find the one before the other, but it rarely, it happens sometimes. Slim is the mountain right now, but I'll finish it off. You got, well, we got stones of sunlight, some gold, and the Silver Harp. So, stones and Silver Harp inside of uh, Garenham. All right, so Garen Ham has the goods. And it has the grave. And it has the grave, so... Um, they are going to leave, because you know what? Actually, nope. I'm also going to look for the sword. And, and the armor. armor. Well, he's looking for sword, armor, and... Uh, wait, is that all he's looking for? I mean, Death Necklace is here. Fighter's Ring is available. <laughs> I just realized he just found all three of the key items for the Staff of Rain in, like, two seconds. Me and Pondo like, do I really want to go die in this cave? I don't know, but then the sword's somewhere. And it's right here, the math plays, you know, you get five chests real fast. If you get the first two levels and get the three and the one, you'll leave them on the bottom there, perhaps, and walk away from that. And play the math game, play the mountain cave, play the uh, Charlock treasury. So since we have completely randomized levels, like, they're at 17, 
But 18 could be a while away then, right? Yeah, 18 could be literally 5,000 experience points. It could just be forever away. So we may already be at go level, according to this seed. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> These stats are pretty impressive. And the MP is, uh, you know, you got plenty of heals. You got 15 heal mores. I'm being an optimist, uh, Angel. <laughs> I'm trying to be on the good side here. Uh oh, Cyberdark's about to find out the. Oh, Cyberdark kills the Metal Slime. All right. Well, Gelf did uh, bail on the rest of the grave, so we won't know what's down there. For now. That makes sense when you have all the Charlock items. Basically, you just go Charlock and check out the you know, six and seven chests and the treasury and the staircase. Uh, looks like Cyberdark's about to get his armor. All right, Cyberdark finds Tabit Cave and got there luckily because he found a Metal Slime and didn't realize how hard it punched. He killed it in one shot. Alright, Cyberdark has the armor now. Looking good. So, given what we know, Sword is in Rimmeldar, the Grave, or Sharlock, right? Uh, I think we see Rimmeldar. I think Rimmeldar was our herb. Okay, so we're looking at Sharlock or Grave. Sherlock, or we, got the, we got Grave level 3 and Grave level 5. Mountain Cave didn't have it, so yeah. Well, finds Garenham. Well, no, close back to Garenham. What's Gelf doing here? All right. Well, 18 is our go mode. Gelf hit 18 and got a big strength boost. Fran's in Garenham, so Fran will cash in and find all the good stuff now. Let's we'll see if Fran does a full dive with the grave. Does Fran look for the sword, or does he gamble that it's in uh, Charlotte? Or the, or the free stuff cave. Have we seen free stuff? Not yet. Stone Sunlight Cave is still out large. Alright, so then we find the Swamp Cave. Goodbye, Princess. He's at least starting to walk in here, so let's see uh, see how far deep he goes. Okay, if you're in here looking for treasure, just take the first three chests and see what happens. Before I do a full dive, we'll find out. We got the dragon scale and gold. And. That monster is saying Moving that there's a, there's a torch in the uh, freebie cave, so. Four screens trying to get my eyes darting around and. Apparently oh, yeah. Everything's going so fast, we're, uh, it's not easy to keep up. Angel repels that rope you used to climb down a mountain. We are going deeper into the grave, so. Keep an eye on Ferran. If the sword's in here, this could be really good. He'll just be searching for two caves. Yep, Ferran's going down. If you find the sword, it's a huge advantage. Oh, torch. Alrighty, so then we find nothing special with Rimdar. Cyberdark realizing, oh, I've repel. <laughs> Excellent. But Metal Slime doesn't care, which means Metal Slime has terrifying attack power. But now it dies at one punch, so. Your repel is also a good benchmark now. We're pretty, we're pretty stacked up with stats. If you repel and a monster appears, that monster's gonna punch you really hard. So, understand if you see a monster repel now, you're probably in danger. Yeah, so far the hardest punching thing we've seen is the Metal Slime, I believe. I mean, 88's going to be hard to overcome. That was before the armor, though, I think. Or was that with armor? That was before the armor. Well, we do have Cyberdark. He's in the area of Garen Hammond and Hawk, so going to find everything. Yep. Let's see here. I uh, did not see what the last chest in Grave was. Well, it's not the sword. <laughs> because... The, uh, the t Staff Turning Cave was Ooh. right next to it. Alright. Does that mean that Gelf just missed it? No, Gelf's got it. Oh, okay. I still see the harp. We're in a sparkle spot, but not being searched, unfortunately. So we're just looking for the jerk, then. Cyber jerk. Well, the jerk has been found already. The jerk is, uh, west of the castle. Alright, Fran heading to Hawksness. We'll find the token here. If that's true, then Gelf is pretty... Well, Gelf still needs the armor. 
So Gelfstein is just on tablet. Yep. Cyberduck has gone to Garenham, is now the goods, and is heading down to the grave. And Ferran's about to get the token. Does that mean Ferran is technically in go mode since he might have most of the information for Sword being in Charlock? Pretty much. I think Ferran would be the first one to die in the Charlock. Uh, what's Guelph looking for? Guelph can't find... Hmm. What's Guelph looking for? Guelph's <laughs> looking for the, the armor. He has not found Tablet yet. There we go. Okay, so Tablet... Oh dear. Won't be a ways away. There we go. Slimey finds a freebie cave. Which has, right as always, has a torch. By chat, I mean uh, Tracker Monster Slime. While we're rambling about this nonsense, thank uh, Monster and Keyless for doing our tracking. Math goal for the restream. And the runners for putting on this display of chaosness. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I'll sign for this. And there's the token, and that puts Sharon in to go if, he, if he's seen Jerk. Yep, Ferran hits level 19, nobody cares. <laughs> and we head back to Charlock, probably. I know, first you gotta find the jerk and get some rainbow drop. Not returning. Do they even have return? I'm guessing they have to, because everything is yep. 16 still, right? <laughs> you got return. And the jerk's running to Charlock, so basically you right. go to the jerk cave, you cash in the jerk cave, then you go to Charlock right to the uh, east of it, I think it was. He, he cast return right after he got into a fight. He's yeah, pretty close to the castle, so Ferran's gonna dive in there and hopefully we'll see if there's a sword and terrifying monsters, or if it's just a half hour Z. He's definitely acting like he's in, uh. He's in go mode, so. I'm just doing a last minute restock. Grab some oddball stuff. 161 HP with 143 MP. Jeez. If yeah, Ferran's basically invincible, um, unless DL1 pulls a, pulls a mask off and reveals Saitama, I think he's in good shape. DL1 just rolls with uh, 255 agility and attack power? Uh, it could happen. But like 5 health. I'd be the worst, wouldn't it? Like, Metal Slime Dragon Lord. <laughs> Alright, Fron cashed in the, the drop. We're going to Charlock. Where we're pretty sure he's gonna get a sword and go try to beat up a Dragon Lord. Alright, everyone. It's time. Play the Pyramid. We gotta find a sword somewhere. Where's I that sword hiding? I think it's going to be uh, the single chest down the stairs. No 200. No. Well, there's Death Atlas. Hey, you get that. And the fairy flute. <laughs> Torch. Hey, hey, there we go. It is in the basement. Uh oh. Well, it might not be in the basement. I don't know if Ron's done all the mountain cave. No, she's done all the mountain cave. Vanilla! Alright, let's see if he can get through this. Uh, uh, sub hour, or sub half hour seed might be the fastest seed I've ever seen. I'm Ron, I'm probably sweating bullets right now because <laughs> if I'm doing this fast, someone else will probably do it too. He doesn't know. No one else is even in Sharlock. I don't even think anybody else is in Go mode yet. I promise this Green Dragon, which is high agility, just blows out of his way. Ooh, Magician. Alright, Guelph's ready to rock as well. Guelph's a solid, you know, probably three minutes behind Ferran right now. Slamu is about to get the armor. Or has the armor now. Yep. We're heading out of the cave, so Slamu has the armor. Oh, no, Slamu is going down in a grave. That's uh, not a grave. Slamu is still missing. I don't know what Slamu is still missing, actually. Right, no, Slamu is looking for the sword now. Slamu is covering all the, uh, the bases here. Alright, 
Alrighty, if we're on head down to the spike tile. Yeah. Eventually. Well, heading down to Swamp Cave. <laughs> well, we can see level 20. Level 20. 7, right. 0, 5, and 1. And it's a 255 experience regular night. Alright, the night shows up again. So, night is uh, making his presence known. Last week, time was for Fraun. Alright, how bad is... Oh, no, another night. Never Hold mind. on. <laughs> Just, uh, hold B for on. Ooh, nice actually pretty fast. <laughs> nice got good agility. Yeah, he was trying not to use another hill or waste another hill more slot there, but he had he just hurt more it. Yeah, nice thing here. If you're thinking now the seed's gonna be a lightning seed, you wanna kill this thing, just get to the Dragon Lord right now. Oh, it's Cyber Dark's inside of uh yep, Charlock Cyber already. Cyber Dark's got headed wealth. All right, Drain Lord. One damage. All right, Noodle Lord. T Tiny Dragon Lord. <laughs> All right, and it's casting man. absolutely no spells. So free DL one. DL one's free. DL two, uh, I mean, probably gonna get murdered. <laughs> uh, if we're going for the stop spell, just in case something weird happens. <laughs> And he no sleep. And he no sleep. All right, there you have it. So stop spell is gonna be a thing. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Fron solves the problem at hand. He'll give the man. This is a dicey of a dragon lord. So his his attack power is the same too, right? So he won't deal extra damage. No, yeah, deal, deal uh, two's uh, punching, uh, the fire breath the same power, the punch the same power, defense the same. Uh, okay. HP is randomized heavily, and the possibility for healing and for sleep spell. Alright, so we don't have to worry about sleep spell or heal, so he's just beating him down. It should be free at this point, then. Right, Guelph has left. Besides the miss menu. Yeah, Guelph has, or Cyberdark has left. Uh, Charlock is going to have to cold. And, uh, I think he's just going to go heal up, because yep. he's just got no MP. Yep. And Slamu is uh, about to do the dig for the chest. Slamu's already in full healed, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a close second. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's supposed to be quite the race, but Fran's definitely in the lead here. Trying to learn how to free doubles. Cyberdark's definitely uh, slightly ahead, but it could be rolls difference. And Rolls difference, encounters. RNG encounters, yeah. Fron takes down the Dragon Lord. Heading back home. Get your GGs out in chat. Yep, stop spells is the key here. If DL gets a stop for one and stops for another, I'll do it. Fron Birdie takes it down. It's their time here. 28-42. Yeah, if anyone has their eye on the IRC right now, it's probably like, what? Right, dark, dark. Run the spike tile. Wealth heading down to there as well. Alright, neck and neck. Let's see here. Alright. DL1 for Cyber Dark. DL1, nope, oh, not yet. Nice Revenge. There we go. Cyber <laughs> gets ambushed and finds the good news of the four punch Dragon Lord. And we are joined by Faron. GG's. Good work, Faron. Tell me that didn't just happen. What, what? Uh, what? Did you just sub 30 day Chaos Seed? They walked out of the castle, broke wind on a warlock, and gained 10 levels. <laughs> I, 
Yeah, there, there was so much what the heck happened during this seed. Like, my... I barely had time to process it all. And as... As I got those first, like, ten levels on that Drakema, I thought, oh gosh, Cyberdark's already done. But apparently not. I, uh, did I just, like, find everything in the ideal, pristine order? Like, you, did pretty, you did pretty good, and you actually died the entire grave, which you didn't have to, and uh, Slamu did not, uh, Guelph did not. Uh, so you actually did extra work. You found things faster oh. than everybody else. So, uh, both okay. uh, Cyberdark and Slamu are both on deals. Uh... Cyberdark just finished DL1, and Slamu just entered DL2, so they're like less than 30 seconds apart. Yeah, they're neck and neck. Apparently DL1 had to heal, which you didn't find out. Oh! Oh! Okay! He was healing in between their hits. Okay, oh, so... Nice, nice, wow. that? Uh, both of the tops fell down, so both sleep is not a problem anymore. So now it's up to the menus. I think it's gonna be rolls. Slamu has a bit of a lead here. Yeah, he's got the level advantage, which means a couple extra, one or two attack power, which means a couple extra damage on average. I, I, I was wondering if I was overdoing it at 20. Uh, Cyberdark's 19, Slamu's 20, uh, Gelf is 19. Okay, yeah, I, mean, I, 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 when I, I mean, those knights were just coming at me, I was like, alright, I will take the gamble here that an, a burning a hurt more for a 255 experience might get me another level and just get me that extra oomph of attack power, and it was a big difference of 136 versus 143 for level 20. Yeah, that was a sizable number. It was definitely an important detail. We're seeing now with the 1920 for uh, Cyberdark and Slamu, you know, damage difference. Yeah, so Cyberdark entered the DL1 fight ahead and entered the DL2 fight behind. Cause... Uh Well, I guess, f firstly, I think this was another Math Girl rolled seed. Uh, she seems to have a, a knack for rolling jet seeds, and considering that this is later than I usually like to be up, I am not arguing it. Okay, there's the... I was, I, I was about to take your thunder here. I was about to start reading times and everything. No, 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 Burgundy. You're a competitor for a change, not a common So, once, <laughs> once, he, once he talks to uh, the king up here, we can get you an official time for him, for Slamu. Uh, Slamu's official time is going to be 32.20. And literally 20 seconds behind, Cyberdark at 32.41. Wow, a 21 second difference. I, I did not think it was going to be this jetty and then that one enemy. Like I, I thought I made a couple of dumb mistakes. Like The one point I was going to cast Repel and accidentally cast Return... And that kind of sent me back a little bit. And oh, how much man. the silver shield was and going in with 1,200 and going, oh, what do you mean I don't have enough? Well, Slamu has also joined us. GG, Slamu. Thanks. That was the least chaotic chaos seed I think I've played since ever. That was weird. It was chaotic, but in all of the not expected ways. I mean, I, I almost feel that I should apologize to the Randomania audience for not giving the schadenfreude that I think a lot of you were craving. And I mean, the week is young. We just plenty of time for more chaos to happen. And Gelf is also on DL2, by the way, so he's not going to be far behind. Want to go again? <laughs> I was going to say, should we have requested the reseed? I mean, uh, next week's the uh, double, double races. We can just get warmed GG up now. Cyberdark. Hey, GG's, everyone. Cyberdark probably had the roughest beginning and then caught up pretty hard. Yeah, just the slight difference at the end. Uh, you were 19, uh, Slam was 20. Um, so you started ahead in, in Dragon Lord 1. You found heal, which uh, Slam did not, and uh, Ferran did not. And uh, so the difference between the healing there and the, the slight less tap power, you ended up behind in DL2. Holy crap. And Guelph's just finished too. I think DL1 healed against me three or four times. I just figured I was out swinging it. Yeah, Gelf is uh, going to finish with an official time of 34.25. So, about two minutes behind. So, wow, less than six minutes between all four of us and a ridiculously fast seed... I'm I'm still kind of in disbelief. I mean, did anybody else like what? What was your first enemy to kind of get you on the board? 
Did I, uh, for me, it was a, Dr a Drakema, I think, for like 49. Yeah, but yeah, Drakema. Yeah, that got like 11 levels or something. Yeah, it went from 1 to 11 in one go. It was a 102 HP gain, and and my jaw dropped. I, it, <laughs> Ours did too. I, I, yeah, it, it's one of those I've never thought that, you know, I just it was pure disbelief. I'm, I'm still in disbelief over it. We'll see you, DC's guilt, well, by the way. We got, you guys had a good we game two ads at once. <laughs> I think Gelf killed the first enemy and went from one to seven, and we didn't realize he went to one from from one to seven. So when the stat gains hit, we saw like fifty HP. We were like, "Holy crap, that's a level!" And then his his level just said seven, and we're like, "Oh." Mess. After that enemy, I then proceeded to find all the worst possible enemies to find for the next six minutes and make no more progress. Huh, well, Cyberdark might have uh, had you on that one. He ran into Scorpion that ate him. He ran into uh, some other stuff that ate him. Somebody found the Metal Slime that uh, apparently does 90 damage per... Oh, that was me. Oh, I, I, I got, I got, I got 95 damage from a Metal Slime. Thankfully, at the time, I think I had 157 HP, so I survived, but... I definitely oh, I, I very didn't. easily could not have. Yeah, somebody died to it. I think it was Slamu. Yeah, he yeah, got I hit for 70 hard. something and then 88. I think you I know. only had like what, one, two, maybe three deaths? Um, yes, see. Slamu had three. Guelph had three. The email slime of, of terror is blocking my view of the actual death counter. For it else. said uh, Cyberdark had two when I looked at it and I didn't catch Ferrans. Yeah, Metal Slime, yeah, swaps. So Metal Slime is actually inverse. We found, uh, or what we got the middle? Stone Slime? Uh, Talcum Slime? I don't know. Yeah, it says one it's for you. For oh, the only, oh, actually, thinking back, I guess, yeah, the only death that I had was checking out what was in the Tanagil basement, seeing it was Mountain Cave, taking a few steps in, running into something that knocked me back, and I said, uh, all right, scorpion. forget this, we're gonna... <laughs> the regular Scorpions. Scorpion. And then I just said, all right, let me go wander. And then I found Breconary and kind of went from there. But there wasn't nothing too nasty that we saw you guys run into. We saw the Golems with Sleep and Hurt more is probably one of the worst things. It would be a lot yeah. scarier if you didn't gain I... you know, 10 levels immediately. <laughs> yeah, nothing yeah. scary when you have 160 HP. Green dragons when I ran into and... it, I think I had hurt more at the time, so I just threw a hurt more at it, saw that it only gave three experience, and said, nope, I'm not dealing with these anymore. Yeah, the green dragons and the um, magicians almost knocked me out of Sherlock. I think I took 80s from both of them. Magicians were wow. strong. I found one next to the sword and ran away and then got it to heal. Yeah, I noticed magicians appeared. He has repel. They're still showing up, which means they're hitting like a truck. <laughs> so, hmm. did anybody else check every single chest in every single location like me? No, the I mean I I checked everything except for the vanilla stones cave. No clue where that was, and Rimmeldar. No clue where that was. Same here. But uh, those were both in the southwest. Okay, I don't think I went that far I, southwest. I took the long way around the map to to find the good stuff, and I forgot where the staff cave was and took the long way around again. Yeah, being a completionist, I checked everything, I got everything, and I mapped the entire second continent just for fun. Oh yeah, I, I found the nothing over there too. Same here. That might have been part of the difference, is I never found the swamp cave either. I don't even remember where I found it, but I know I returned out of it pretty quick, and I think by the time I got over to the staff cave, I was just after picking up the token. I had everything else, so it was just grab it, return, go. Yeah, I had the token first, and then the other stuff after that. All right, so viewers who watch the show and enjoy the quick, quick race, yeah, um, you nope. apparently missed it. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, no, just be assured that every seed we'll have this week will be like this. They'll all be friendly, they'll all be fast, there'll be no, uh, no chaos, there'll be no, uh, 200 hit point spike tiles, there'll be no, uh, sleep everywhere. Nope. It'll be nice, friendly seeds, like Sesame Street, Dragon Warrior. Now we get to watch everyone else have pain. Yeah. 
that, yeah, that it's kind of nice to get it done with. Out. You know, it was, it's kind of ripping the Band-Aid off with, with chaos. It's like, all right, I know I've got to race this sometime this week. Why not just get it out of the way here on a Monday night, then wait throughout the week and kind of let it fester and go, oh, gosh, how bad is it going to be? And see other races and kind of be in that panic mode. Nah, I'd just rather get it out of the way. And that's, uh, I, I, I just figured it was going to be a lot different than it was. I figured it was going to be Cyberdark first, me probably third or fourth, but... Uh, I had that kind of rut going when I was in Sherlock. It's like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing. And then Fran finished. I'm like, okay. And then just before I kill DL2, oh, there's another finish. <laughs> oh, crap. Geez. What? Yeah. You're, you're thinking, what happened? Yeah, yeah. I'm, almost, I'm almost on Dragon Lord and nobody's done. I'm like, okay, this is, this is going to be good. And then, I mean, yeah, I could, I mean, one swing or two swings away from third place. <laughs> it was a tight one, that's for sure. Yeah, it was literally you had one more level on Cyber Dark because he started the DL one fight before you did. That was that was I think what five strength, five or seven. It was a uh, seven. Strength. there was only one at nineteen, I think. Yeah, twenty was decent. Yeah, twenty you got a seven strength gain, I think five hit points and one MP. So once, uh, yeah, so that bumped you up from. I mean, I've gotten the fighter's ring as well, so from one thirty six to one forty three guaranteed double digit swings on every hit for DL2 that makes a bit of a difference even with the the low rolls. Yeah, and I definitely didn't throw on the death necklace because I didn't want to get slept locked on turn 1. Oh, I threw it on and managed to get a stop spell first try. Yeah, I got my stop spell first try too. I got lucky. But I'd rather I'd rather get slept with 160 health than with 120. Yeah, and I think I was a little less than 130 attack, so or something like that, or just over 130 attack. So I figured I'd throw it on. Yeah, if I didn't get the extra level, I'd probably throw it on. I didn't throw on the death necklace. I'm, huh? No, I mean, it's. I think with with 20, we were at like 140 ish AP, 143, I think. 140. You know, 144. Yeah, so throwing it on doesn't do you a whole lot of good at that point. Yeah, you're pretty swole. Uh, it was 144 width, wasn't it? Or no. Was it? No, 144 width. 144 width, 141 on level 20 without? Well, uh, I mean, Cyberdark is a level lower, so Cyber has less strength overall from the uh, D19 versus 20. Oh, something going on. Unless, uh, Great, yeah. well, if you have a different uh, stat gain for your name, perhaps? I, I don't remember. I thought I had 144, but I don't remember anymore now well anyway <laughs> math is hard that's the that, that's why we're trying to math that's matter the matter if it's math. here oh, mathing so. and streaming seldom works out well and this is another example why all right so at least i got myself an easier draw next week hopefully easier <laughs> it's a race of taking care of business tonight there's the only race we got tonight only us tonight uh tomorrow we have two races up for now we yeah, have Smash EZ, Game Boy, F9, and Stags 28, Group 10, going at it at 8.30 Eastern, uh, channel to be determined. And also, after that, we're just at, uh, it must be 9.45, will be DK9146, Shaddy, Marshu, and Tilo Tilo, who all watch this race right now and said, Oh, that was easy! And nothing bad will happen tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really hoping we're the only race under an hour. Speaking of time, do that, that puts all four of us at the head of the uh, the finish times. So, Fran, you're the fastest finisher so far of the tournament. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what, what a dubious distinction. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the fastest beforehand was 40 minutes. Yeah, natural seeds. Well, the chaos seeds can do that to you. And uh, next week we have the uh, tiebreaker seeds, the little fast ones. So that yeah, can be that, that'll definitely get broken. Yeah, next week we might get two seeds in 34 minutes. Or 10. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to deal with a 10 minute seed in my head. <laughs> Just something doesn't seem right about that. 
But yeah, all right, folks. Good work, everybody. Any uh, last requests, last commentaries about this this crazy fast seed? I'm just glad that it was quick, easy, and painless, or mostly painless. Chaos, everybody. Yeah, this Anyone is the best else? of chaos. Ready for the worst of chaos? I'm sure you'll see it at some point this week. Stay tuned. If anyone uh, anyone else to see does not have enough hit points, uh, we got them. Uh, sorry to take them all for the week. Uh, good luck, everyone. Yeah, I'll echo the same thing everybody else said. And also thank you to you guys for casting. Thank you to Math Girl. Thank you to uh, Keyglass and Monsieur for uh, tracking for us. Appreciate what you guys do for the community. The dragons will be chaos where things can go fast and furious and hit all the buttons in order. It can be a little tricky, I think it is. I do believe we are done for the evening. So y'all have a whole night to, you know, something else. If you're here for a while, but guess not. <laughs> so, practice. Make a seed for yourself. We'll play the seeds. You can do it faster. We'll make sure to throw this one in the uh, the seeds of torture or delight. In this case, the latter in the uh, Dragon Warrior randomizer community. I think in the uh, Discord. Which I won't. I don't know. If you do exclamation point DWR, does the link to the Discord pop up there? Shameless plug. It does. There we go. See, little little seeds to plant as far as how these uh, how these how these things go. But I'll do enough stealing of your broadcast thunder. Good night, everyone. Uh, GGs, and make sure to follow all these uh, lovely people, and maybe give me a follow as well. I'm not as good as I displayed here this, uh, this, this evening, but maybe I'm worth a follow. Thank you so much, and good night, everybody. All right, folks. I'm going to wrap this up now. We can get ourselves to bed or do more chores. We have time now. Thank you all for coming out. We started week two of the randomized tournament and uh, set more chaos all week long. Two matches tomorrow. Yeah, we've got things lined up for the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Yeah, we're up there. So we've got matches basically every day coming up. So uh, hopefully they're fun to watch. Hopefully they're not as fast. I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming out. Uh, B, anything last to say about it? Yeah, just good race all. Uh, GG's. Congrats on where you placed, and uh, have fun watching everybody else probably suffer. There we go. There we go. Again, Matt Girl, thank you for the free street. Nope, never mind. Haha, <laughs> good. But yeah, GG's. That was fun to watch. Makes me less scared, even though I know my seat's gonna be terrible. <laughs>